So the violence was already there, and Proud Boy said, all right, you're already fighting everyone. I'm going to fight you. Mm -hmm. And the cheating is already there. The firing is already there. The harassing is already there. Our only hope is to match it. Yeah. And it goes against everything we believe in. It feels dirty. You might as well fucking French a dude. Do, do you think uh, all these... Um wars over the years where it's, they've been presented as uh, good versus evil kind of a thing. And World War II is is pretty much been presented as that in history. Uh, although some people nowadays look at it a little <laughs> differently. But uh, there's been this kind of notion that good will always prevail over evil. And evil does things like that. So you can't be brought to that level. Like yeah, and I know obviously the Allies committed uh, some crazy atrocities during World War II, but the way it's presented afterwards was the bad guys were doing the atrocities, the good guys were the noble good guys, and that's how they won, even with uh, the odds against them, kind of a thing. Uh, do you think that is still in play, where we think? Well, we just got to be the good guys and stay the course and we no, can win I'm, this. I'm saying, what I'm saying supports World War II. Buchanan, in the book The Unnecessary War, he says we shouldn't have gotten remotely involved. Stalin's coming west. Hitler wanted to go east. He knew from World War I that a two-sided war isn't going to work. Yeah. He wanted to go east. Then why'd he do it? So it's, it's a scorpion. <laughs> it's a scorpion and a poisonous snake. Getting in a cage together, let them fucking have it out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because Hitler would win, he would destroy communist Russia, and then fascism just naturally dies out. People, when they're fascist, they're fascist for like Long Island, <laughs> and they hate Staten Island. <laughs> Like it's not like they like all whites. Yeah. Fucking Spanish fascists think Greek. In fact, South Africans call Greek sea. Oh. They call them sea kefas. So. They're very regional, these fascists. They don't spread. It's an interesting uh, take on it, though. Do you think if uh, Hitler's Germany would have defeated Russia, yep. that that would have been the end of it? That he wouldn't have gone uh, west at that point and tried to finish the job with England and France and Correct. And everything He else? would have been spent. He would have spent all his chips with the Russians, which is what happened eventually, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, they died of exhaustion. But if he won, uh, yeah, I don't know. You could kind of kick back a little bit. Russia fucked them up bad. I think they would have had enough resources to still really fuck with uh, the, the Western Front without... Without uh, America involved, that's another thing. If we never got involved and they had taken Russia, I think they'd have defeated England after a time. They didn't want to defeat England. Hitler was begging Churchill to settle, to say, let's not get involved. He Churchill was like, no fucking way, we're not doing that. Yeah, because Churchill loved war. <laughs> He'd been trying to get into war since the Boer War of fucking 1900. When he was a journalist, he was trying to get involved in war. He loved death. <laughs> the guy loved death. Yeah, he wanted to be a soldier because his dad was an aristocrat and he was seen as a pussy, a oh, rich okay. kid. And he's like, I'm not a rich kid, I'm a tough yeah, yeah, guy. Yeah. And then he escapes from POW camps in South Africa and he's Mr. Tough and he's going to fucking kill Hitler as Hitler. It was a, he was Let's from that. Let's work it out. Let's work it out. He was from that. Uh, it's noble and, and heroic and nationalistic to go into battle for yeah. your country. Yeah. But I, I don't know. I think... Uh, if Germany had dispatched Russia, I think they'd have been able to beat the shit out of England. I really do. Whether they wanted to or not, I think it would have become a thing they had to do. And by the way, at the beginning of the war, they sure as shit made it look like they wanted to beat fucking England. I think they decided, let's leave England alone, we'll take Russia, and then we'll deal with England. I don't think it's like, let's take Russia, and then we'll never deal with England. There was several overtures to Churchill to negotiate some sort of peace. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He always he said no. he would get crushed by them. In Spain, if... if, if I think he knew inherently that when America merges with Western Europe, he's fucked. So let's just take over this area. Then he dies. And the reason that we went in there is to say, I don't have time. I don't have time to waste waiting for uh, uh, Hitler and Stalin and the snake to eat the scorpion. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We got to. I, I got to. This got to get wrapped this. up. And I feel the same way with AOC and the, the squad. They will. The, the, good does prevail. They will die. 
the the big the what's it called Build Back Better and the, the back ten thousand dollar per American person. Fucking. It's yeah, it's yeah. globalist bullshit, and that won't survive. But it's going to be like it could be one hundred and fifty years yeah. before it self corrects. I want to be around for this self correction. So uh, we need to play, nut. for lack of a better term, n pool. <laughs> I'm not happy about that term. I wish it wasn't many, so perfect. Many have drowned in those. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. I oh, I misunderstood. <laughs> we 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 have to play dirty. It's the only Please, way to see Spock, change soon. Spock, explain. <laughs> what is dirty pool? Dirty okay. pool. Oh, okay. Dirty pool. Yeah, my dad was playing pool in the south, and he was oh. doing normal British stuff, which is like it's British. Fuck the guy over. Right. If you don't have a shot. And oh, uh, okay. Yeah. Oh, dirty pool. Right. 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 Oh, said, looky here. We got some foreigner playing gotcha. pool. All right. That we have sense. to play that. We'll call it dirty pool. We have to Get play it. dirty pool if we want to see any change with our within the next 20 years. Oh, my God. It, all they've been doing. Ron DeSantis is winning this election Tony Soprano style. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We have to curb people. We have to I, curb Beto O'Rourke. Had it. Like Coco. <laughs> <laughs> How does it get to the point where you look at someone like DeSantis and he's like this amazing one of a kind thing? It, they every governor should be like this. Yeah, at least in the red states, it's just normal and ballsy. They all come up and say, "No, fuck you. This is how we're running our states." It's the pussification. Everyone is yeah. so scared of being labeled a racist or a whatever. Yep. And you know what an insider told me? They go, "The thing about DeSantis is he's on the spectrum." Oh, you think he's a... So when you go, you're evil, he's like, okay. <laughs> Everyone hates you, all right? All right, good. Anyway, no more masks. If you say no more masks, your popularity will plummet, and you won't get invited to any parties. <laughs> yeah. All righty, anything else? No more masks. No more masks. It doesn't make sense. It's not logical. I love how Gavin's impression of someone <laughs> on the spectrum is just shut one eye halfway. <laughs> <laughs> That's yeah, yeah. Fuck it. I got. I don't. I don't have time. It's because I'm already so close to the spectrum. Right, right. I have to you distort half my face in order to look different. Because <laughs> I have Holy that little shit. emotion about popularity. <laughs> no one likes you. Yeah, good. No one likes you. Good. Good. Retard. I like, I like that. No one likes me.